The MightyVac MV7100 series fluid evacuator dispensers can be used for a variety of different automotive service needs. From general fluid handling to automatic transmission, fluid exchanges, ATF service, to vacuum brake bleeding and pressure brake bleeding, MightyVac offers a number of different adapters and devices to be able to connect to those systems. Today we're going to demonstrate an air evac and cooling system refill using the MightyVac MV4509 universal adapter. These adapters simply fit down in the cooling neck of your radiator or pressure tank and then by twisting you expand the rubber to make the seal. In this case we don't need much expansion because we're actually going to be pulling a vacuum on the system. So I've removed the pressure cap. We will install Give her a little twist to hold it in place and get ready to connect our MV7110. I've pre-filled the unit with a 50-50 mix of coolant and distilled water. Use the wand to pull that in so you don't actually have to dump it in. Push to connect. Connect our compressed air. And make sure we have our unit set up for vacuum. And we'll start generating a vacuum. Watch the gauge on top of the unit. And we've got some vacuum building. We'll go ahead and open it. You'll notice air gurgling in the unit. It's actually coming up through the uh, coolant that's in there and that's just us pulling the air out of the system. As this runs, you'll notice the cooling system hoses will start to collapse upon themselves. The larger hoses is a lot more apparent than the smaller ones. Your upper coolant hose, lower radiator hose will be the best place to see it. You'll need to allow the unit to run five to ten minutes, try to get as much vacuum in the system as possible. Sometimes you might want to double check how tight everything is and keep an eye on our gauge. But right now we pulled down to 25 inches of vacuum, which is pretty healthy. So at this point, we're gonna go ahead, shut this off and bleed a little pressure on. You can see the coolant racing through the line there to fill the system. Now this will take several minutes to evacuate all this fluid, to pull all the fluid out of this back into the system. You can kind of gauge how much vacuum is still in your cooling system by once again looking at your, your larger coolant hoses. you notice they're still collapsed. As that system fills and the pressures equalize, those hoses will expand. The other thing is to watch the gauge on your unit. If you notice there's still a lot of vacuum, you might want to go ahead, switch her over to pressure, and add some pressure to help fill. If you're showing a vacuum on the gauge, then it's taken, it, it's taken some time to actually pull it out of there. The system, this, this just will help fill it a little bit quicker, that's all. Now, where the pickup is, to make sure we don't get any air into the system or possibly uh, you know, underfill the system. If you start seeing air bubbles, I'm gonna lean it back. You start seeing air bubbles racing through there, that means you're running low on uh, coolant in the reservoir. What I like to do is I like to take a rag or something and just stuff it under the unit. That way this is the lowest part and it picks up as much of that fluid you're trying to move as possible. We'll give this a few more minutes. Now we're not moving any more fluid, so that means that the vacuum in here has been, has been used up. Remove our adapter. You may or may not need to top that system off. I'm looking in here and I can see it's a little bit low. So I'm going to 
close this valve, bleed some pressure on, doesn't take a lot of pressure, and I'm going to lean that unit over because I'm just about out of fluid. So we'll go ahead and just top that off. It's difficult to see, but the side of the tank shows that I am now full cold. So that system is full. Though my line's full of coolant now. Suck it back real quick, keep from making a mess. Install our pressure cap. Clean up any drips or spills. At this point, you'll want to start the vehicle, run it until it gets hot, let it cool, and then double check and top off your fluid as needed. If you found this video useful or informative, please feel free to like and subscribe. For questions about this product or anything else in the MightyVac line, please visit us at MightyVac.com.